Hi, good morning. This is Colette. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have no makeup on. <clears throat> so here goes. A few things I wanted to share with you all. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would see me post about this palette. This was the Revenge palette, <clears throat> excuse me, by NYX, and it comes with a magnetic flip thing. And inside it has um, an insert where the shadows are kept. And if you own this palette, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, then I'm sorry, I kind of ripped apart the inner parts. And I have now put clean brushes <clears throat> that I washed early this week are in there. I just kind of tossed them in. So I figure it's a good way to repurpose the box itself because it is a good box. And I I didn't have any qualms about tearing it up because I paid $6.29 for it. But, <clears throat> excuse me, as I do not like lip glosses and lipsticks that come in those sets and um, so on, I just thought, let me rip it open and use the box for something else. And then um, use the shadows, put the shadows elsewhere. So I've put the shadows in this little palette. And this is a no-name 28 palette, um, 10 pan palette that I had. I think I got this one from eBay originally. And when I got done with the concealers that were in there, I had other shadows placed in there. But right now it is home to... The three blushes that I kind of cracked this one a little bit but this is the one I like the best of all the blushes these are the shadows that came inside the revenge palette and I have kind of labeled them accordingly this one as you can tell got cracked a little bit these six shadows right here I took them out of the um, elf palette i think it was the vampire palette that they had out this past halloween i think it was either four or six dollars at walgreens and i absolutely hated the packaging anyway so i ripped it open took these things out of it because these are the colors i wanted from that elf palette so those they are in here and these shadows from and blushes from the revenge palette so maximizing my space and repurposing things now i have a little bit of a haul for you guys so i went to walgreens last night and end up just driving down the road with the family they wanted to go on the road um, my husband was just i guess he just wanted to be on the road anyway we had a fun little drive out but then we stopped at a few walgreens and I found this hair clip, very pretty hair clip. I got two. There's a brown one, I think it's on my vanity, and this green one. I got this one for half off. I, it retails for like $5 and change. But there is something wrong right here with the thingy, so I'm going to glue that back down. So because of that, and I really wanted the green one, they sold it to me for half price. A real sunlight. My Effaclar... Uh, clarifying lotion I repurchased this from Walgreens last week because I really do like it it has 0.5% of the sal sal salicylic acid and 2% glycolic acid and this is what I like to tone my face with after I cleanse I'm still using the melody cleanser and the acne cleanser I have one breakout here and I think that one was hormonal or probably something I ate, but it's going away. So last week, um, earlier, yeah, today's Friday. Earlier this week, I did hear about this palette. Actually, I saw it on Instagram. Sunshine had it on Instagram. And at first, I picked it up and I said, no, nah, I don't want to spend 40 something dollars for it when I first saw it. And Tara Babes did an awesome review on, on it. And I thought, yes, nice. 
but I'm not going to buy it. So I passed it up. Anywho, it was on sale for $29 at Ulta. I think it was Monday, Sunday, Monday, somewhere. So I went to Ulta, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Could have been Monday. Anyway, one of those days. And they had it. Plus, I had a 20% 20, 20 off coupon. So with my 20% off coupon and this being $29, I end up paying $24 and change for the palette. Awesome sauce. I wanted to expand a little bit on my um, Smashbox colors. These are the colors in the palette. They are pretty, they are beautiful. I think personally, as Tara Babes had said, they could have left out the big old rock in the middle and put another eyeshadow there, but I'm just being picky. <laughs> the shadows come off smooth and buttery, and if you know anything about Smashbox, then you would know that this is good quality makeup, and it may still be on sale. I am not sure. You can always check. The only thing I don't like about the palette, the packaging outside on the on the back is pretty. The colors are, are nice. I have a real disagreement with the shadow names being on this little piece of film. I tend to always throw, throw out these inserts and I know it will only be a matter of time before this one joins the rest of the gang that was tossed. So... That being said, it has a mirror up here. I'm just putting it on the side there. There's my finger on top of the mirror. And I'm just going to lay this back inside so that it stays. And I really love the packaging, the shiny diamond glisten look that it has. Pretty palette and it feels very soft to the touch and kind of spongy. A little bit bulky. You can see the width right there. But what the heck, I don't care. I think it. if you need to go out, it would be still a very good palette just to grab and go if you're traveling. All right, next thing that I purchased, my, well, hubby purchased this last night. And if you, again, if, you've not, if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're waiting on. Seriously, it will show up for me, face of the days, um, all of this stuff. Is I post to Instagram often. So I got this Frat Boy um, blush. And when I saw it, I saw it, people review it re recently, but I'm like, eh, it's just another peach blush, a coral blush, peach blush. But um, actually, they describe this as a, it looks peachy, more peachy to me anyway. Um, it's looking a, maybe a little pink, but it's, it's like a cross between peach. And coral. I'm going to swatch it for you. I'm going to touch it right here because it comes off really nicely. And there it is. It is not pink at all. And you put it on and it shows up a nice peachy color. It's showing a nice peach on my hand. And this one is called Frat Boy. Very smooth. I do not own any blushes from um, the balm so this was a nice addition to my collection I am loving that then I saw this oh this came from Walgreens uh, we drove all the way down to Miami and um, there's a bougie Walgreens that we found it is actually set up as the Walgreens and the Rite Aids or whatever they call those, the Dwayne Reed, not Rite Aid, the Dwayne Reed um, ones in, in New York. Whenever I go to New York, that's when I see this kind of stuff. And yeah, so <laughs> my, my first, um, I think the bomb palette that I have, the only one that I own, I did purchase in New York because I didn't want to purchase online. And I found it in New York last year and I purchased it. So now I have a blush. Now I have a blush from the bomb. So yeah, I will be going back to that particular Walgreens 
to get a few more items that I saw. So on that same vein, this Pop Beauty set was also in the Walgreens. And it has a blush, a chubby lipstick, and a nice shadow trio. And this was $10, guys. So if you have one of those Walgreens that stocks all those fancy, more high-end or mid-high-end uh, beauty products, it'll be great to check that out. Okay, this says Pop Your Natural Beauty Precious Peach. I think there was a pink one. The other one was pink, but I am more partial to peaches and corals and such and oranges, so I went with the peach. Um, it contains the Blush Crush and Peach Sheen, Bright Up Your Life Eyeshadow Trio in Rich Cocoa, and Pop Pouty Pop Crayon in Peach Promise. I'm going to just show you this. This is the... Ooh, I'm liking the lippy. Ah. Okay, I am really liking the lippy. It is matte. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if I can bring my camera up a little bit, my computer up a little bit more. It is a matte finish. It goes on smooth. And I don't know how the lasting power will be, but <clears throat> this is Peach Promise. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there you have Life Swatch. I have the blush in Peach Sheen. And they are right. This is... A, sheen, a blush with a sheen but it is peach in color and I'm just gonna swatch that a little bit there it is on my finger my daylight outside sunlight went this is what the blush looks like swatched right there and I'm just gonna blend it a little bit for you just gonna put a little bit more on the back of my hand and this is the blush. It is real shiny, <clears throat> this one. I could use this as an eyeshadow, which, as you, you guys know, probably know, you can repurpose a blush or, and the lighting changed. Um, you can repurpose and use a blush or vice versa, as a, or a shadow, as either, either blush or an eyeshadow. It's up to you guys. Not because it's called a blush means you can't use it, in a, <clears throat> use it as an eyeshadow. So I could use this as an eyeshadow. I would probably use this as a, as a highlighter on my cheekbone area because it really looks shiny. So either I would use something to mattify this blush, blend it with a, a matte, another matte blush, or use it as a highlighter or as an eyeshadow. Okay. Sorry for the shaking, you guys. I just had to move a little bit. Then, this is the, sh the trio. The packaging is so pretty, so cute. But I'm sure you guys can see this. It has three colors. There was another palette they had, and I just kind of ruined that. This is my finger went in and kind of pulled up shadow. Look at that, it dented my little finger. I'm just gonna swatch that right there. That's a swatch of the eyeshadow. It is really, really pretty. Actually, when I saw the shadow, this shadow was in another, I think my light went and I'm just like having a hard time because I want you guys really to see the quality here and the sheen on this eyeshadow. There it is. Very nice. It's a nice satin sheen. Very pretty on your lid. This would do beautifully for a, an evening out or even daytime wear. <clears throat> Sorry, this would be awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, what is wrong with my throat? Then 
this is the second color, which is this one. Swatches very nicely. Um, that is the color on my hand. And then I'm going to use another finger. Look at how bold that comes off. And this is a darker brown. So you have two brown shades and that lid color that is just awesome. My last anyway. haul for the year. And um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see the other stuff that I have from BH Cosmetics because those will be here in a few days. Mm -hmm.